This is uh, part four of the Algebra 1 with Alex uh, introduction, class introduction. Uh, and I call this portion uh, the keys uh, to success. And I believe that these keys to success are true in math, but they're also true in life. So if you want to have a good life, this might be one approach. So first thing is work habits. Uh, we're, some people believe we're like animals. The, thing, the habits we develop, that's who we become. And when you're young, this is when you're developing your habits that you'll use the rest of your life. You can change when you're older, but it's a little bit harder. So one thing that I always say is that, especially with Alex, is either you get ahead and stay ahead. Okay, it's like in sports. If you can score first in a sport, in a game, and then it's, it's easier to win in the end. Um, but if you fall behind, if you don't work very hard, if you goof off in class, uh, if you're sick or you're absent, for whatever reason, sometimes there's very valid reasons for falling behind. But when you fall behind, then you got to climb, and you got to realize that you can't just go at the same pace anymore. You got to go faster when you fall behind. So get ahead, stay ahead. That's the best habit. If you fall behind, then don't be afraid to climb. Mistakes are key. Mistakes are great because we learn from them. Okay, this is the biggest thing in math. Over time. Students become afraid to, to ask questions and afraid to try. And so we have to change that. In this class, mistakes are the things that we're going to celebrate. And I say this. I might sound crazy. You may think I'm crazy. Maybe I am crazy. I don't care. The more mistakes we make, the faster we learn. I know it sounds silly, but if you're willing if you're willing to make a mistake and then go look at it and go, hey, how did I do that? And reflect on it, then you can uh, learn from that mistake and move forward. And sometimes you move forward a lot faster. Okay? So, in other words, we can't be afraid to make mistakes. It's that simple. We just can't be afraid. So, what does it mean then? Well, what it means is to make a mistake. What do we have to do? The first thing you have to do is take a chance. You have to take a risk. Okay, it's risky. So, to take a risk, we must feel safe, knowing we will not get hurt. So, the point is, there has to be an umbrella. There has to be an umbrella there. So, if you, if you jump and you might fall, there's got to be something that will catch you and make sure that you don't get hurt. Okay, so in a math class, it might seem silly, but taking a chance with math um, uh, means that if you make a mistake, nobody is going to uh, um, tease you or make fun of you. In fact, what we want to do is turn that around and honor you. So, what's the parachute that keeps us safe in a classroom? Well, it's us. We're the parachute. Your students, your teacher, we honor risks that others take. Okay? We don't tease others for any reason in the math classroom. That's one of the keys because it keeps the room safe and it keeps people taking risks. It keeps us making mistakes and it keeps us learning from our mistakes. The other thing that we have to have is you, you, you've got to make an effort, okay? Uh, we're in this class together, and for most of us, math is not necessarily easy. So we've got to make an effort every day. Here's a saying that I've heard years ago, and I believe it. Math is not a spectator sport. Nobody goes and sits down and relaxes and gets a little something to drink and a snack and says, oh, I think I'll turn on the TV and watch some math today. That's not how math works. You don't watch math. You have to do math. Math is a doing thing. Okay? There's no spectators in math. Everyone must participate to learn. Okay? Make an effort to take risks. Every class. 
every week, every month, for the entire year. If you're willing to do that, those kinds of things, come to class every day and work this way, you'll do fine. Stick with it. This is a good representation of Alex. We don't just run upstairs. We'll get tired, we'll trip, we'll fall. We take one step at a time. Okay? One problem at a time. One Alex algebra topic at a time. One by one, we'll chip away at the 225 topics and you'll make it by the end of the year. This is how we learn. We take risks to learn. We make mistakes and learn from them by sticking with it step by step over time everyone learns. That's what we're going to do. Okay, thank you for watching.